Dylan Thomas it is, isn't it? Queen of Ireland, love of my life, Catelyn Thomas. The Edge of Love is a bit of a family affair. It's written by Kira Knightley's mother, Sharman MacDonald. She'd actually written Catelyn for me, which is the other part that I don't play. Um, and I first read the script and just completely fell in love with Vera and said to her, no, I'd much rather play Vera. And she said, no, you wouldn't. I said, no, no, I really would. And, uh, and we sort of had a bit of an argument about it. And she said, I could only play Vera if she put singing into it. And I said, no, I can't sing, I can't sing, I can't sing. She said, yes, you are. If you're going to play Vera, you're going to sing. OK, so, um, so that was the compromise. Maybe that is why my kiss too little. Kira does cabaret, a role which may surprise many. Maybe with a love so great and a love so small. It was absolutely terrifying. I've actually professionally never been so frightened in my entire life. I'm singing live in a tube station in front of about 100 extras. And my knees nearly gave way. Uh, they were actually shaking so much, I thought I'm going to fall over in front of everybody. But it's fine. It was an experience. You're kind of moving away from the obvious blockbuster-type film and going for much more serious stuff. Is that the case? For the moment. I mean, yes, certainly sort of in the last year. Um... Not, not for any big reason, just because, you know, the, the things that I've liked have been smaller pieces. Um, I'm a huge fan of pure entertainment. I'm not a snob about it. I became quite famous very young, you know. I mean, Bend It Like Beckham was when I was 16. And I think when you're a teenager, you listen to other people's opinions of you a lot, you know. And, and the, the opinions of me for quite a long time were pretty dire. And for a teenager, it's really difficult, particularly if you're in a public forum. So, yes, I did feel like I had a lot to prove. Yes, I still do, certainly to myself, feel like I have a lot to prove. But I think as far as sort of going, OK, well, I want to be taken seriously, so I'm never going to do a big action film again, that's just not the way it works. However big a star Kira Knightley has become, not all the press exposure has been kind, and now she has criticisms of her own. I think we should be very careful with young women, and I think at the moment we're not, and I think that's quite shocking. Um, saying that, no, I mean, no, the interest doesn't get away. Yes, you get used to it. I think you get older and you 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 realise uh, you realise who you are, and and that makes everything easier. Um, there's always going to be things that hurt. You can't completely, and particularly, you know, I'm, I'm I work in a profession where I cannot shut myself off emotionally because that will affect my work. So you have to allow a certain amount of vulnerability. And obviously, if you're allowing that, then you then then things do get in. Saying that, no, I mean it's much easier now, and it's much easier not to read. Well, I don't read, and it's much easier just to just to kind of forge your own path, definitely. Um, but I do think that we should be careful with people. The film is a showcase for all four main characters and will expose the life and work of Dylan Thomas to a wider audience. And as for the media interest in Kira Knightley, it isn't about to stop anytime soon. Razia Iqbal, BBC News.